In this video, I'm going to describe how to install the motorcycle tire pressure monitor sensors on a motorcycle and pair them with a Garmin sat-nav. Now, first things first, we have a safety briefing. So you'll note on the box, it says for metal valve stems only. That is actually extremely important information. If you look in the manual on the first page, there's another additional warning which says the tire pressure monitor system is for use with metal tire valve stems only. Installation of the tire pressure sensors on non-metal tire valve stems may cause tire and or tire valve stem damage, which could result in serious personal injury or death. So those are two fairly bad things, but they should also note you might write your bike off, which would probably be a higher priority for most of us. Also, if we look up this product on Amazon.com and look at some of the customer reviews, the most helpful review at the top there, um, the title of that is Read the Warning Do Not Use on Rubber Valve Stems, almost exactly as it says on the box and in the manual. So this chap notes that he installed them on rubber valve stems and went off for a ride. Um, his rear tire subsequently deflated because the um, cap shot off and sheared off the stem and he spent two hours waiting for recovery to arrive, which isn't a bad outcome all things considered. Um, subsequently he fitted metal valve stems. So um, let's look at what's in the box before we consider the installation. So we have um, some stickers. These are to identify the valves. And we have the user manuals. And the actual sensors there and also the uh, battery. So for this example, um, we're going to install these on a Honda MSX or Honda Grom as it's known in America. And the tires on this bike uh, should be 30 PSI, which is 2.06 bar. So first thing we need to do is pair these with the Zumo. So we click on apps, tire pressure, and it advises us that this is only possible if we have the accessory, which is the sensors. We have those, so we can click next. So we're going to install these on a motorcycle, two wheels. And next thing we have to do is advise which one we're setting up. So I'm going to set up the front tire there. So the next step, um, once we've clicked front tire, is to install the battery. So the Zumo is currently looking for one of these sensors and as soon as we install the battery, it will pair with it. So we install the battery, wait a couple of seconds. And now we've got a message saying pairing is successful. So now we can um, input the correct tire pressures for the bike we're going to use. So um, the Honda MSX, um, both tires are the same. It's recommended is two bar, so I'll put two done and then it's asking us to set a low pressure alert so I'm going to set it as 1.8 bar click done now that one's set up you'll note that's showing green it's going to change to red now because it's showing low pressure because the sensor is not plugged into the bike so the same drill uh, for the rear tire we install the battery pair it set the uh, recommended pressure, low pressure alert, and we're all good. Finally, the Garmin provides these stickers which you can use to identify uh, the, the caps. I personally would suggest you just etch them with a needle or something so they're less conspicuous and it's less obvious that they're more valuable than regular valve stems. So moving to the bike, I'm going to remove the uh, original equipment uh, valve cap and I'm going to do first take a pressure reading with a pressure gauge just so I can compare this to what the sensor says. So that is showing now uh, 30 psi which is equal to 2.06 bar. So I'm going to install the uh, tire pressure monitor sensor and see what that comes up with. So on it goes. And um, when you install these, these are actually motion sensitive. So if you install it and you get no reading, if you give it a tap, it'll come to life. So that's now showing a 2.0 bar at the front wheel, which is as we expected. So moving to the rear wheel now, if I remove the uh, 
cap and do the same drill. Tire pressure sensor reading, that's showing 30 PSI. Install the um, monitor sensor, and that's now showing two bars, so we're all good. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is what happens when the pressure drops. So if you imagine we're riding along uh, using the map screen, and I'm gonna simulate a drop in pressure by loosening the valve there. So once that goes below the threshold we've set, we get a message saying tire pressure low. If we click on that, it gives us a message saying the front tire pressure is low, it's dropped to 1.7 bar and advises you should uh, check it and top it up. So that's how to install the tire pressure sensors on uh, the bike and pair them with the Garmin and also be mindful of the safety briefing.